Friday, December 26, 1947. It's a black, white Friday in New York City as a snow cloud burst, as it's officially called, dumps two inches of snow an hour on the town. It falls hour after hour through the day and into the night. And as the streets are blanketed, a paralysis creeps over the city. Surface transportation halts. Railroads running into the city are stalled. Only the small fry segment of the population is happy. Schools, of course, were closed. Before the storm abates, nearly 26 inches have fallen, a record unequaled in the annals of the Weather Bureau. As many as 30,000 cars had to be abandoned by their drivers, many to be buried for weeks. It was a $6 million project to make New York's streets passable again. More than 30,000 workers tackled the Herculean task, working around the clock with plows and shovels. With no traffic moving, New York seemed to be a city abandoned to silence. It was well into the new year before deliveries of fuel, food, and other supplies could be considered normal once again. The storm extended from the nation's capital to northern Maine, but it was New York and its suburbs that bore the brunt of the fall. The officially recorded 26 inches was five more inches than the historic blizzard of 1888. And there was one statistic that will probably stand for a long time. 99 million tons of snow fell on New York in 16 hours. 